welcome today we are posing to ourselves as to how we can initiate ourselves to be parallel with the enlightenment of vedic mathematics knowledge for it today we shall be exposing ourselves to the following initial steps on the computer screen are enlisted the topical tabulations in the sequence of the 12 screens first is the first ganita sutra second is about the first ganita sutra's first formulation then we are having insight about this ekadhi kain formulation from here we shall be transcending to kino upanishad then we shall be posing to ourselves about the formulation aj which means birthless existence a step ahead we are trying to be parallel with formulation it then factors ranges geometric formats of numbers values double digits numbers grids gaps bridged as of geometric formats and as a sum up the beginning is to be with devanagari alphabet and reach is to be up till sharir sthanam of charak samhita as foundational basis for the siddhi sthanam of this scripture the first ganita sutra text eka adikena purve is on the computer screen let us visit this text let us see its first letter is the sixth vowel leading to value 6 which is a surya ank so this beginning as it is naturally points out as to how the vedic systems are trying to chase the existence phenomenon beginning with the role of surya sun then this formulation also is having the sub formulation kain in fact it is the central focus of this formulation ekadhi kain and the formulation kain is of tc value 16 and the composition of this setup of this formulation is of 7 plus 9 parallel with the nine letters of ekadhi kain and seven letters of purve the formulation pur which means east the placement reach for the surya and its tc value 21 is parallel with the formulation shivalya so surya to jeev to shivalya that way is the sequential phased chase reach of ganita sutras mathematics this knowledge and its enlightenment being our poser so we shall be having a revisit for the formulation ekadhi kain and in terms of it we shall be appreciating that the first letter a the sixth vowel as of value 6 and of hypercube 6 and six space content ultimately leads us to sun as surya and this knowledge has the enlightenment as a surya upanishad sadhaka sub fulfilled with intensity of forge to be parallel with vedic 
systems shall approach Vedic mathematics as a knowledge which has transcendental enlightenment. So this takes us to the source of sense that is the Upanishads. The first letter, sixth vowel, value six, Surya Ank, Surya and Surya Upanishad. So the sadhakas are fulfilled with intensity of virtue to be parallel with the values of Vedic mathematics shall approach it as knowledge as well as enlightenment. So values as knowledge and not as enlightenment are distinct features and for it we have to reach to the Upanishads. The first Upanishad in this context is going to be Surya Upanishad. Then this formulation as Cain raises a question, poses a question and it is this question posing and reaching at their answer is as to how value six will reach at 16. Then we know D6, the six space content splits as a pair of dimensional domains that is four space and dimension of dimension that is two. So D6 as 6442 is 16. It is G. What is the relationship of the sun, Surya, and Jeev being. This is the poser. And here also is embedded the answer. So first we shall go to the shelter of Surya Upanishad. And then we shall begin with Keno Upanishad. The questions being raised in the Keno Upanishad or the knowledge part, but the enlightenment of this knowledge of Keno Upanishad is literally at its foundational base. The Upanishad, Keno Upanishad is a composition of, is a scripture of four khand, four quarters. First quarter, Prathma Khand is a scripture of eight mantras. Dhritya second khand is a scripture of five mantras. Tirte, the third khand, is a scripture of 12 mantras. And fourth is of nine mantras composition. The values quadruple, eight, five, 12, and nine, are preserving the lively transcendental base of such manifestation and the value eight takes us to the solid boundary of eight components of creators in space, a force space. So the stool sharir, the mundane body, the three space content of the body as such is to be transcended and for its transcendence we reach at as an answer that for it we have to go to the transcendental origin, five space as an origin of a four space. And then five space itself will transcend from its role of five space as a domain to five space as a transcendental boundary of self-referral space, that is six space, that is a Surya. The Surya will transcend as Duadas Aditya, 12 suns, and the sun as a dimension, six space as a dimension, will take us to nine space as domain, hypercube nine. Eight plus five plus 12 plus nine is 34, which is the summation value of quadruple manifestation layers of hypercube 9, 7, 8, 9, 10. Sadhakas are fulfilled with intensity of virtue to be parallel which the enlightenment of the knowledge of Vedic mathematics 
have to approach the text if of Devanagari alphabet is to sequentially transcend from the letters alphabet to the numbers alphabet and from numbers alphabet, we have to transcend to the sthapatya. It is only by being parallel with the sthapatya and lively at the foundation of the organization of the knowledge will help us to be further parallel with the transcendental content flow along the format of sthapatya mirroring rod. So we have to initiate ourselves like that. And it is this initiation which will have a big poser for us as to how there can be birthless existence, how the Aj, the formulation Aj is of values as birthless existence, that lively vital force which is marking its presence as birthless existence. For it, we have to sit comfortably and have to begin from the very beginning. The formulation Aj is a composition of triple letters, O, Jo, and O. There, TC values the Dive Ank Vivasta with respect to this triple letters composition is one, four, and one. Now, see this one, four, and one geometrically will take us to as if we are handling linear entities. So, a pair of points of a line as such will take from first step as a line to the second, second set step as well as a line. So this pair of discrete steps will have a gap which will accommodate hypercube to a square, a surface bounded within quadruple lines. It is this existence in this phenomenon, when we are dealing with the linear entities as discrete entities and we are reaching from first entity to the second entity, then in between of its own, without being a linear entity and without being part of the entities being handled as a mathematics, so we have reached from first one to the second one, but in between we have a jump and it is in between this gap which is marking the existence of a square, a surface. Sadhakas are fulfilled with intensity of virtue to be parallel with the Vedic systems shall approach Vedic mathematics, the Vedic mathematics way to be parallel with the knowledge of Vedic mathematics. And then from here, we have to have a transcendental step leap forward to be at the enlightenment, which ultimately will take us to the Upanishads and Upanishads will be the enlightenment foundation. Let us go a step ahead. The Upanishads are having formulations as Om Iti Ek Akshar Brahm. For the present, let us concentrate upon the formulation Iti. It as well is a composition of triple letters E, Ta, E. Their transcendental code values are 242. Two. So we reach from triple letters composition ET to the second format, numbers format 242 two gives us a rule as to how when we will be having a discrete entity as value two, 
and when we will have a reach from value two to value two, in between the gap, there will be a value four. Two plus two is four. Two multiplied by two is also four. Minus two multiplied by minus two is also four. Two raised to the power four is equal to four raised to the power two. These features, though, are helping us transcend from the linear order to a spatial order, but simultaneously, it is becoming a spatial order which attains continuity with discretes as the discretes themselves are having transcendence from linear order to a spatial order. Now, this like Aj, Aj and Iti are the formulations which deserve to be meditated upon. One is to sit and is to permit the mind to transcend and to continuously remain in prolonged sittings of trance to imbibe these values which are going to have a sequential evolution. Now, when we will be having a visit to one of the mundane application of the formulation ET, then we will be highly blissful and we will be appreciating as to how these formulations have their knowledge and knowledge as enlightenment. Now see, the first pair of primes are two, the first even prime and three as the first odd prime. Now, if we have to reach the chain of primes ahead, then we can reach at that in terms of the formulation ET. ET means two, four, and two. So if we are having a sequential organization of the steps of values two, four, two, means two, four, two, four, two, four, two, four, two, four. And if this chain is not broken, if it is maintained that after two, four is to come, and after four, two is to come, and after two, four is to come, but e ta, e ta, e ta, e ta, e ta, e ta is to be continued, then C, as is depicted on the computer screen, from five with E, we will reach at seven. Then with ta, we'll reach at 11. Then with E, we'll reach at 13. Then with ta, we'll reach at 17. Then with E, we will reach at 19. Then with ta, we'll reach at 23. Then with ta, we'll reach at 29. Then with each, E, we'll reach at 31. Now, it is here where we have to have a pass to appreciate as that when we are reaching from 23 to 29, then it is a jump. It is not from ta to ta. It is from after ta, we must have an e. So here after 19 ta 23, and after 23, we must have e and then ta, and it is 29. So this sequence of e, ta, e, ta, e, ta, e is not to be broken. It is to be e, ta, then e. And if we will maintain this sequence of e, ta, e, ta, e, ta, e, ta, here in 23 as well, and e, we will have a sequential reach for the primes. It is a very, very valuable comprehension. It is this comprehension which is to be imbibed. And like that, we may have a visit to the another features of this range of whole numbers. So if we have a numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 20, and so on, and if we see the composition of these numbers and we factorize them, then the second column will 
depict as the composition as factors of the respective numbers. And the column three is just enlistment of the total number of factors of the particular number. And column four is the summation value of the total factors of all numbers up to that particular number. Means one has only one factor, two has one factor for one and one factor for two, the total factors up till two are two. Three as well has a one factor. So all the three numbers, one, two, three, have three factors in all. But when we will reach at four, four itself has a contribution of two factors. So the factors from one to four will be five. Now see, if we glimpse five, it will take to six factors. And we'll reach at six, it will reach to eight factors. When we reach up to eight, it will reach to 12 factors. When we reach at 12, it will reach to 20 factors and so on. So see what is happening here, that in this range of things, we are getting the factors, total factors for the ranges as one, two, three, four, five, six, eight, seven is jumped. It is this jump which would mean that there is no range of numbers which is leading to the total factors as seven. Firstly, we had seen that numbers one, two, and three, and including up till four, the total factors have a jump over four. So there is no range of natural numbers, one onwards, which lead to the total factors four. Likewise, we will not have the total factors seven. So if we have a glimpse of this organization as to how the total number of factors and the primes are interlocked, then we will have one specified class, subclass of the primes or the whole numbers, which will provide us the feature whether or not there is any range which leads to the number of factors equal to a particular number. So four is such number which has no parallel range for its factor, like that seven as well as the number, then 11 which is going to be the number, then the 13 is going to be the number. But here in between, 10 is one number which leads to 16, but there is, there is no numbers range which gives us factors as 10 as such. The Vedic mathematics is having deep insight about the internal structure of the whole numbers. And the same is not restricted up till the primes, but even beyond that. And it is that what is to be comprehended, what is to be appreciated, what is to be imbibed for proper initiation to be parallel with Vedic mathematics values as knowledge and knowledge as an enlightenment. This takes us to a step ahead. And it is here that the numbers of values like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight are having their geometric formats so from letters, we have to reach at numbers and from numbers, we have to reach at the geometric formats. On the computer screen is the sequential tabulation of these values. And C, number one, is having geometric format of hypercube half of half unit. Number two is having geometric format of hypercube one of full unit. Value three is having geometric format of hypercube one of half unit. Value four is having geometric format of three space content like that 
we have to reach at the geometric formats. And then from geometric formats, we will be having a reach at the corresponding space content. And once we will be reaching at the corresponding space content, then we will be having a manifestation process of that space content as a domain. And so there will be a flow, a transcendence flow within the domain, which will have a reach up till the origin of the domain. This is what is to be learned. This is what is to be imbibed. This is how we have to initiate ourselves. And it is with this initiation that we will be parallel with the values of Vedic mathematics of Ganita Sutras as a knowledge. And from knowledge, we will transcend to enlightenment. Then once we are having a flow, then we will have a re-manifestation. It would mean that we will be having single digits sequential progression, one, two, three, four, five, six, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, N to N plus one as a one more than one. But we have to have a format which transcends from the linear progression into a spatial progression and it will take us to a place value system and the place value system will lead us to grids which will accommodate the double digit numbers of different place value systems. On the computer screen is the N cro 9 cross 11 grid which accommodates 99 double digit numbers of 10 place value system like that we can reach at entire range of place value systems. So there will be the entire range of double, of double digit numbers accommodation within the grids. And if we have a visit to the organization and coordination of the artifices of the numbers as double digit numbers within the grid, here nine cross 11 grid, we will see that this organization of 99 double digit numbers gets segregated, classified as upper part and lower part around the mirror line, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. And the upper part is having a mirror line of 11, 22, 33, 44. And the lower part is having a mirror line, 55, 66, 77, 88, 99. So the mirrors as the features of re-manifestation because of the transcendental flow will make them as mirrors. So mirrors embedded in the artifices of numbers is the comprehension, is the feature, is the reach, which will of its own help us appreciate as to how the space content flow from orb of the sun through rays of the sun is going to be a phenomenon of mirrors parallel with the mirrors embedded in the artifices of numbers. Once we are so initiated, then we have to reach the organization of scriptures. When we are at Adi Balmiki Ramayana, and when we begin with the Bal Kanda of Adi Balmiki Ramayana, then Sarga wise the shlokas as these will be are tabulated on the computer screen. And Sarga 1 is a composition, is a scripture of 100 shlokas. However, the Sarga 2 is a scripture of 43 shlokas. The gap value is 57. 
and this gap value 57 is equal to 29 plus 29. 28 is a Brahm and 29 is a Nirvan. So Brahm Nirvan, which is the aim of the existence beings within human frame, that is of the human beings themselves, as is the essence of the enlightenment of divine song of Srimad Bhagavad Gita. Therefore, for the Brahma Nirvan, we have to be parallel with the lively existence phenomenon within the gaps. Therefore, we have to reach at the geometric formats of these gap values. The gaps are being bridged as of geometric formats. On the computer screen is the first glimpse of such geometric formats being computed up till Sarga 24 of the Balakanda. But this is to have its reach up till the last Sarga of the last Kanda of Adi Balmiki Ramayana, and like that for every scripture. This is what for we are initiating ourselves. We have to initiate ourselves like that with these different processing steps of Vedic mathematics as Vedic mathematics values, which become knowledge and ultimately transcend as transcendental knowledge, that is the enlightenment. With this, we will have a pause and pose to ourselves as that shariram ved mandiram. This body, human body, is a mandir of ved. All Vedic knowledge is literally as an existence phenomenon within human frame. And for it, we have to begin with Devanagari alphabet, and we have to reach up till Chark Sahita. So sadhakas are fulfilled with intensity of forge to be parallel with Vedic knowledge, Vedic system, Vedic sciences, Vedic technology, and Vedic way of life and Vedic dharma have to initiate beginning with Devanagari alphabet and having a reach parallel with the organization format features knowledge and enlightenment of Chark Samhita. On the computer screen is the just enlistment of the names of the chapters of Shari's Thanam. And then there's a tabulation of TC values and ultimately the submission will be 455. And the, this along with Panchma Bhut, a reach from up till Surya and Dhruv as of value 100, which is parallel with the value of Yama letters of Devanagari alphabet. And this all makes 555, a full range of Brahma Sutra. Like that, we have to ultimately be parallel with this whole range, reach of the Vedic mathematics values as knowledge and enlightenment. Sadhukas are fulfilled with intensity of virtue, shall initiate themselves by being parallel with Vedic mathematics values and having glimpse of values as a knowledge and then imbibing the knowledge as a transcendental knowledge which becomes the enlightenment. Thank you very much.